physical sciences unit. Now, physical science is something we're going to be working on all the way until spring break, so I figured I'd give us just a little introduction to what physical science actually is. So I found out that if I try to record uh, my whiteboard from my computer that it reverses the image, so what I'm going to do is just write it on here. So physical science is the study of two things. It's the study of energy and it's the study of matter. Now, for the sake of middle school science, what we're going to do is break this up into two units. Uh, the matter unit is what we're going to call chemistry. And the energy unit is what we're going to call physics. Now, in chemistry, which is what we're going to be working on first, we're going to study basic chemistry. So the very basics of chemistry, basic chem. We're also going to look at subatomic particles. Oops. Subatomic particles. And we're going to look at chemical reactions. So that's what we're going to be concerned with for the next uh, seven weeks, about. So our first unit is going to be chemistry, and chemistry is the study of matter. Now, what is matter? If you look around you, you're going to see a lot of stuff. Just take a look around for a second, and what do you see? You see things like shoes, water jugs, more shoes, more shoes, more shoes, couches, doors and walls, people, organic things like animals and people, uh, cords, uh, empty Coke bottle. So these things surround us, and we can touch them, we can feel them, we can feel their weight. So matter is actually pretty easily defined. It is anything that takes up space, and has mass. Ugh. Mass. There we go. So matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. For the purpose of middle school and for the purpose of an introduction to chemistry, we're going to define mass as weight. Just to keep it very simple and this introductory unit. Weight. We're going to use these two terms interchangeably. Let's look at some examples. So let's say we have an open field. And we're going to put a tree in our open field. Let's see. A little trunk there. And some leaves. We got ourselves a little tree. You know what? I'm going to color in the trunk just because it's bothering me. There we go. Tree. So this tree. Uh, before we put the tree here, the, fil the field had an area, right? So we put the tree here, and it actually took up space in this field, right? There's less space in the field because the tree is here. So it qualifies, it takes the first quality, takes up space in the field. Now mass. If you try to lift a tree, you're going to have a pretty hard time, and especially even trying to lift part of the tree. Perhaps uh, in the past a tree has fallen in your yard and you've helped to clean it up. It's a very heavy thing. It has mass, it has weight, it has stuff that makes it up. So it also has the second quality. It has mass. Let's take a look at a second example. Let's take a look at a ball. Just a red ball. Color it in a bit there. Now you played basketball, soccer, uh, perhaps dodgeball in gym. Now you know that you can lift a ball and the ball has a little bit of heft to it. It has a little bit of mass or weight to it. And if you put ball in an empty room, suddenly there's less room in that space. So it does take up some space. So a ball is, in effect, matter. Let's take a look at one final example. And this example is going to hit pretty close to home. Let's take a look at a person. Person with a little smiley face, 
they're smiling because they just got out of Mr. K's science class and they're very happy. Now let me get some shoes, let me get some hands. There we go. So this person, as you know, and some of you obsess over, has weight. Right? Steps on the little scale, and sees the weight 153, and they also take up space. So you've learned that if you've tried to fit um, many people in a car, perhaps, this is going to be a really quick bad drawing of a car because I didn't plan on doing this, but there you go. A little car th sort of thing there. You try to fit more than five people in a car, suddenly you're squishing together in the back seat or squishing together in the front seat and people aren't you know, properly restrained. People take up space. So people take up space, they have mass or weight. People and all living things are also matter. So that's it for a introduction to physical science and an introduction to matter. Now, the production quality of these videos is going to get a lot better as we go on. Uh, as a lifelong learner, I'm learning things too. Um, so I'm learning how to use the video editing software and I'm learning how to use the camera that I got. So stay tuned. Uh, going to put many lessons up on all the topics that we cover. So if you miss class or if you just want a little refresher on what we're doing, Come check out my videos, and I will see you at school.